one in. Um, this isn't a new one, just because starting a new one is incredibly boring. Uh, so I'm level 16, and today we're fishing on the ocean map. Words. Eh, whatever. I don't remember the name. Doesn't really matter. It's the one Pineapple, pi pineapple Bay, something like that. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I'm playing on the normal setting. I do have another one which is on the realistic setting. Um, but it wouldn't have been as entertaining to watch. Uh, it takes a lot longer to catch fish. So I'm going to do this one, and yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Um, I'm just trying to get marlins, um, sailfish, that sort of thing. So yeah, um, it's a pretty fun game. Um, I got it during the summer, and I played I played it a lot on VR during the summer. Um, but I haven't played much on VR. The VR, ooh, we got something. Uh, what do we got? Looks like a sailfish. Um, see, so yeah, I got it during the summer. I was going to a um, college for computer-aided design, and I played that a lot um, before I went, and then when I got back home. It's really fun. I prefer playing it in a lawn chair, even though I have, you know, a recliner, or I can stand. Playing it in a lawn chair, is, it just feels different. And so, yeah. Um, and then I got it later in the summer. Um, once I got some more money, I bought it on the PC, and so, PC's a lot easier, uh, fish are way easier to catch. Like, trying to do this on VR, your arm is killing you, because with a normal fishing rod, y you have something to lean into and something to grab, but in VR, you're just moving your hand up and down and up and down in a rot rotary motion, you know, for sometimes two to three minutes, and it, it gets really tiring. But yeah, um, this fish is almost in. Sometimes they do run right before they get to the edge, but this guy looks like he's going to be nice. Yep, and 68 pound, um, almost 69, nice. Um, selfish, um, I'll just sell him to get some more money up. And so yeah, I'll see how close I'm gonna, I am to leveling up. I might switch to another map. Um, I have all the DLCs. It's worth it. Um, let me just, yeah. Uh, that's why you want to look at what you cast out because that thing's never gonna catch anything here. Um, toss up the spinner. Uh, this is hunter mode, which makes it so you can see all the fish. Um, I also do have the radar, which allows, if you look on the left, uh, lets you know where the fish are. Bigger dots, bigger fish. So, yeah. I have all the DLCs. Um, I might play Baikal Lake. That one's fun. I played that a lot on VR, because you're not catching as many fish if you're playing on VR. Just the difficulty is a lot higher. Uh, and so, fishing for sturgeon, which I've done in real life, um, yeah, by, um, I did it in the Snake River. Uh, but fishing for a sturgeon in Baikal Lake, you can make a lot of money. Ice fishing is also a really good way to make money, especially in VR, because it's just easier in general to see things, and you're not having to really worry. And you can kind of just sit there and wait for something to happen, whereas with this, you need to be watching. Um, I do have bells, so they will let me know. Uh, I would recommend, if you're ever playing this, get uh, tri uh, tripod stand and bells or some or the electronic signals as fast as you can because it makes it so you can have one rod that you're actually using and then the other one can be on the ground and so yeah i haven't had a lot of luck on the amazon one which is kind of uh the amazon map which is kind of disappointing um i've had a lot of luck for the dlc one the dlc maps the only ones i found that are really good is the uh greenland ones those ones i really like but yeah, um, 
really don't want to do that today. So yeah, we'll just stick with this. We might get that. I don't know. I don't even know what fish that is. I've had a lot of problems with the Thailand map. That's the one I've had the most problems with. I've never caught anything good. Um, my game's crashed several times when loading it up. There was a while where if I would just like open up Thailand map at all, it would just instantly crash. Um, they think it's been resolved. They didn't update anything, but I, I had I re I had to uninstall the game, so I don't know what it was. I don't see that other. Oh, there's no bobber for that one. That's why. There's three marlins right there. That one might be going after it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. But yeah, never caught anything good on, Thai good on Thailand. Um, so yeah. Let me see, what else? There's the uh, African map. I haven't played that one a lot. I've had, you know, I've had okay luck. Never anything very big. There's not a lot of big fish on the map, though. Uh, the Alpine Lake. I've had an, I've had okay luck there. Uh, playing on the realistic, um, realistic setting. Um, it, it's nice. Because... You, the fish are relatively easy to catch, and they give a decent amount of money. And it's very similar to what we have around here in real life. It actually uh, looked very similar to Red Castle, which is up in the Uintas. Mm, that place is nice. I've been there a couple of times. It's like a 10-mile hike in, though. But there's giant cutthroat in there. And there's lower red castle, which is okay, and it has uh, a lot of brook trout. Let's see. Last time I went there was earlier this year, actually. Um, we did, we, not, uh, we went on a backpacking trip with goats, which people don't think about, but goats are, they're like horses, except you don't ride them, and they carry your gear. Um, they, you don't have to carry food in. Really nice. But yeah, I actually have four goats right now that we're training so that they can be uh, fat goats. Unfortunately, this is what a lot of the game is, is just sitting and waiting. And there's not a lot to do with it. I'm trying to figure out what games people would actually watch. Because as of right now, Folklore Hunter is the only game that people have actually watched. I did post that term on one. Um, but no one's watched that. So I might do another video on the t um, Folklore Hunter. It's just kind of repetitive. so. But I'll do what I do. So yeah, if people actually do watch this video, uh, let me know what vi videos you guys would like to see. Because I'll definitely make them. If I have the game, or if it's free, I don't have a lot of money right now, so I can't be buying games. But I always suggest them, because there's always a chance I do have that game. Because I have a... I mean, most of the games I have are pretty similar to this. I might do another video on the Hunter Classic. Ooh, what do we got? Uh, it's the biggest difference. I, uh, there's, like, two major differences between this mo uh, this setting and realistic setting. Uh, the biggest one is fish generally just, there's less fish. Uh, and then the other one is you can't use this underwater cam, so you have no idea what type of fish you are pulling in. Ooh, that almost snapped the line. Uh, so that red bar, well, the green to red bar, that's the line tension, and if it, if there's too much tension on the line, it snaps. You know, that's how it works. I've never had that much in real life. Normally, we're reeling it in, and it gets caught in a snag, and that sucks. Specifically for sturgeon, because sometimes you're, you know, reeling them, reeling them in for an hour, and then they run into a log and snaps the line, and they're gone. We went sturgeon fishing earlier this year, um, Snake River. 66 found, not bad. Uh, yeah, just sell that. Uh, we only got one sturgeon. We pulled in one sturgeon, and it was like a three foot long one. It was tiny. Um, uh, my brother, my older brother, he pulled it in most of the way, and then I brought it in the rest of the way, and I didn't even get to touch it, touch it uh, because it sp uh, spat out the hook as it was in, and people were trying to touch it. So a few people got to touch it, but I was not, I was, I was unfortunately not able to. But we've had better years. Uh, some years we'll go and we'll get like three to four every night. 
Uh, biggest we've had is like a nine foot one, and those things are very, they're they're not they're fun. Uh, sn snake river, you do have to release any sturgeon you catch, uh, just because they're endangered, but it's still fun, because they 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 really like to fight. But yeah. Not a lot of big fish in this area. But this area is pretty hard to navigate. Yeah, right there. So we're just I'm just gonna keep on going. The boat will find big fish eventually. Those waves are getting pretty big. I've never fished in the ocean in real life. I've always wanted to do that. There's a something. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. Yeah, there. I live pretty far inland, so there's no way I'm fishing in the ocean. At least, unless I traveled somewhere, I might do that in a couple of years. I don't know. I'm gonna switch directions so we can get some more. I probably won't do another video on this unless people request it, just because I I know it's it's pretty boring. <laughs> there is a very very large lack of people who've actually played Ultimate Fishing Simulator that have posted videos on YouTube. Um, because of this, people don't want to sit there and watch. Well, actually, the majority of it is them listening to me talking. Which is another thing that the videos I have seen, uh, people don't talk. And so, if a lot of times I'll just be listening to the video, because I don't, I'm usually working on something else. And so, if I'm just listening to the waves, I'm going to be listening to some, I'm going to switch it to something else. Um, so, yeah. I see, I've seen a few more popular people, but they always, they're always in groups. Just that they're talking to each other, and normally they're competing. But, yeah. There's nothing out here today. Okay, um, I'm gonna wait until that clock hits 7:30, and then I'm gonna switch maps if we don't catch anything. Let me try switching up. Let me try getting it to be. Sunny. Okay. They're, they bite better during sunny conditions. I don't know why. Because I know a lot of other fish <laughs> like it when it's raining. Sheesh. There's nothing out here today. Um, I'm probably going to head to Greenland, I guess. <coughs> if I don't find anything. Okay, there's a... There's some fish. Ooh, that's a big one. That's pretty big. See, you just find these little patches of big fish. And then you just have to hope that one of them takes the bait. I don't think any one of them... Yeah. Oh, oh, we got something. I think it's that big one. So that hundred in the bottom right, that's the... Um, uh, what's it called? Tension? Yeah, anyway, it makes this a, the, the real tension. And then the to the right of that, they have, like, uh, these things, if you're looking down there. Uh, that's how fast you reel in at. So let me... Okay. 
I don't think I'll ever live stream. Just because live streaming means I can't. Um, I, I, I don't, I mean, I can only really record these videos in about half hour to 45 minutes. And I don't feel like, I feel like streaming for that long is not really worth it. Uh, just because my, uh, my family comes upstairs and they make a lot of noise. And so I can't really rely on having silence. I mean, right now it's like 11 o'clock. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, it's 11.30 at night. But I don't have school in the morning. So, this video will probably be up around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay, so, this fish is finally coming in. But you saw how far that line was brought out. I think this has about 800 feet on it. It's normally in metric, but I switched it to imperial because, you know, metric sucks. Who cares if it makes more sense? America. So we almost have that in. I think it's a black marlin, it looks like. Might do a video on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I did one the other day, but I forgot to hit the unmute button. So, you know, whole video. You know, it was a, it was a 45 minute video. It was a kind of bad video anyway. Uh, my dog was scratching at the door and barking. And so, yeah. But still, you know, 45 minutes. I didn't get anything good, but it still sucks. So I might do a video on that. I might even do that tonight. Just to get one that I can upload. Yeah. It's a blue marlin. Black marlin. Ooh. 249. New record. Jeez. That's almost half my money. I'm going to release him so I can get that extra XP. Let's see. How does that fit? Uh, that's what. Uh, Peanuts Bay. They, they really could have chosen a better, a better, a better one. Like, seriously. You could have called it Pineapple Bay and it wouldn't have sounded so weird. So it's not even top 100. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. What's the biggest fish ever caught? Uh, blue marlin. Any runner-ups? Uh, Greenland shark. Giant grouper. Hm. What kind of nerd has a total weight? That guy has no life. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to switch maps, even though I did catch something, because I feel like it. I'll look at the other maps, too. I'm going to open up a soda, so you get to listen to that. Okay, so we have Pinos Bay. <laughs> Maureen Lake. That's the one I was talking about. That's the one that looks a lot like Red Castle. Like, even, like, the rock formation right there that looks like the actual castle part. Of that uh, would actually be Upper Red Castle. No, that... that upper Red Castle is in the very top. Never mind. Uh, Kariba Dam. That's the one I've had. It's, there's a lot of fish on there. Nothing that's very big, though. And the bigger the fish, the more the money. Um... The Greenland Sea, that has some pretty big ones. Uh, two species of shark. Halibut can actually get pretty big. Um, and the cod and everything there get really big. Amazon, not a lot of luck. Um, it's very difficult. Japan, I haven't had any luck on. Uh, same with Thailand. Betty Lake, that one's actually, it's the starting lake, but it's, it's darn good. It's, yeah. Especially, um, this, um, Lake Pal. They call it Pal Lake, but Lake Pal, I've been, no, I've been to Flaming Gorge. Uh, Lake Pal is in Utah. In, like, Pal Lake right there, but Lake Pal right there. And, yeah, it's just weird. Also, they really need to add in, like, salmon. And trout because Lake Powell is famous for those. So, yeah. uh, St. Zeno's lakes, I don't like them. It's just a bunch of carp and 
you can rearrange carp and get what they taste like, which is crap. Uh, bicolic, probably my favorite, um, just for the sturgeon. Um, Aphalasia Basin, I haven't played it on this one, but I played it on the VR, so I don't like it a lot. It's, it's swamp. Uh, Uvok River, it's okay. And then, uh, that again. Although I'd like to mention, I'm pretty sure, yeah, right there, uh, Barracudas. They do not have Barracudas on this map, but they advertise it. Kind of weird. Um... Yeah, I, I guess I will go with... Yeah, let's go with Baikal. Winter. I think it's very clear. So it looks very cool. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna check my equipment. Equipment. Yep. I okay, right there. Let's see what we got. Let's increase our hook size. Let's go with a four. Uh, bait. We're gonna go with live bait. That's the best attractant for sturgeon. And okay, I like playing this one at night. Gives it a better feel. And sturgeon like biting at night, so. So I'm actually going to run up. I'm gonna head onto the map. A lot of sturgeon over there. Okay. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to see. Right around here is where I get a bunch. Right, at the, right where that rock juts out. Okay. There's a couple of fish. There's a few others. Maybe sturgeon. Uh, yeah, sturgeon. Don't mind me drilling my hole right next to you. What's this one? You can just sit and watch. Wait for uh, sturgeon to come by. This one you can get a lot of money real quick because they bite pretty fast. Sometimes it depends. But yeah, I'm gonna actually take a look around. There has to be. Normally I see more than this, not just two. Jeez, not a lot. Not a lot of them today. Yeah, I'll head out more on the ice. Ah, here we Here's some. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, now let's let's get some catch some fish. There is a another one coming out, uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator Two. However, I played the demo. It's okay, but it is very limited, and I I um, put in to be on the early access version, but I didn't get in it, so. And play the demo. Uh, that sturgeon looks like it's coming in. I don't know when it'll be out, but I'll probably buy it. Um, 
anybody watches it, I might do a video on it. Chances are it comes out in the summer, though. And I'll be gone during the summer. Ooh, that sturgeon just running away. Thirty-five pound, not terrible. Uh, I just sell that. Now, if you get it right around three feet, I think you can just like as soon as they bite, if you start reeling, you can pull it up, and so it just automatically catches them. It might be more like two feet. Oh, really? That, that's kind of rude. Is he just gonna swim away now? Oh, he might be coming back. And he's going away again. Hmm. I don't know. I I don't even know what how long this video is at right now. Um, I probably only just play for a couple more minutes. I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna watch this video. Uh, as of right now, I don't think I've had anyone watch any of my video game. Uh, this one, videos all the way through. I think most people watch like two minutes, if that, and then leave. That's if the game gets views. Cause the first couple I did. Uh, excluding Minecraft Classic, because that was really just me goofing off. Exclu excluding those, the first couple did okay, which was the Hunter Classic and then Folklore Hunter, but the other three posted after that haven't gotten any views as far as I know. I can actually check that right now. Because I don't think I'm going to be getting a bite <laughs> anytime soon. Let's see. Content. Yep. The last three haven't gotten any views. And Dungeon Defenders. That one was terrible. The audio on it was way too loud. <clears throat> yeah. By far the worst video I've ever made. Which really isn't a high bar. I mean, most of mine are kind of trash anyway. Okay, I'm going to head over here again. I'll probably just catch one more sturgeon and call it a day. That's four fish. Four decent sized fish. That's not bad. Two sturgeons right next to me. And none of them will take the bait. That, that's how it about goes. I'll drop it down a little more. See if that makes him. That one like that. That is um, very rude of him. Yeah, they both just swam right past it. How rude. Uh, 
I don't think we can do much else, but wait. I mean, I could call it, but I've already said I'm going to catch one. Uh, my next video. Oh, and that is why I shouldn't be playing on my phone when I'm doing this. <laughs> I, I I just pulled up YouTube, and you, you might have heard me slam my phone against my table. Oh, look at that. He's dragging it way down to the bottom. Uh, my next video will probably be Trophy Lodge Tour of the Hunter Called Wild. Because I said I was going to do that in the video, I'd never end up posting. 34. That's a terrible sturgeon. But we'll take it. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do a Trophy Lodge Tour uh, next time. That one might get some views. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching, if you actually watched. Uh, comment down below. I don't care whether you subscribe, just please comment because I need human interaction. Uh, yep, thank you. Goodbye. That's the wrong button. Bye once more.